Do you ever find yourself wondering if we are the only life in the universe? It's only natural to wonder what lies out there and if Earthlings are indeed special and alone in the cosmos. However, other researchers go far beyond simply wondering about alien civilizations. Some scientists have proposed the possibility that there may be another universe existing alongside our own. Some people hold the view that there could be an endless number of parallel universes. Could it be real? Could there be a different version of you someplace? One from the past or the future? Many people speculate that our universe is simply one branch among many others that exist concurrently but at various points in time and have distinct histories and futures. Doesn't that sound like something out of a science fiction book or movie? But is the concept of a parallel universe merely fiction? Or is it actually real? Let's find out. The concept of a parallel universe is no longer the exclusive domain of science fiction. Some recent scientific hypotheses provide evidence for the existence of universes other than our own, called parallel universes. The scale of our cosmos is staggering. Each galaxy has billions or trillions of stars, and there are hundreds of billions or trillions of them spinning across space. Models of the universe had led some academics to assume that its diameter is somewhere around 7 billion light years. Others argue that it may go on forever. But is that all there is? The concept of a parallel world and the idea that our own lives are but one of an unlimited number of possibilities is popular in science fiction. However, multiverses aren't exclusive to the Star Trek, Spider-Man, and Doctor Who franchises. The possibility of other universes, either similar to our own or very different from it, is investigated and, in certain circumstances, supported by real scientific theory. The Big Bang Theory, which includes the idea of external inflation, is one example. All of existence as we know it began at a tiny point some 13.7 billion years ago. Then, the theory goes, it went into hyperdrive, expanding faster than the speed of light for a fraction of a second in every direction. To make inflation cause the cosmos to expand, to 10 to the 26th power times its original size and less than 10 to the negative 32 power seconds. Not to mention the fact that all this inflation before the real expansion of matter that we commonly think of as the Big Bang itself. Inflation slowed, and a flood of matter and radiation formed, producing the iconic Big Bang fireball and giving rise to the building blocks of the universe, the atoms, molecules, stars, and galaxies. Some scientists have been persuaded by the unexplained process of inflation and the Big Bang to consider the possibility, or perhaps the likelihood, of multiple universes. Tufts University theoretical physicist Alexander Villenkin claims that inflation ended at different times in different locations, even though it stopped for everything that can be detected here on Earth 13.8 billion years ago. Cosmic inflation is still going on in other parts of the universe. The term eternal inflation describes this scenario, and as inflation winds down in one spot, a new bubble world takes shape. Due to unlimited growth, the bubble universes cannot interact with one another. Our bubble's edge is accelerating away from us faster than the speed of light and faster than we could ever go, so even if we started out towards the edge, where it might butt up against the next bubble universe, we would never get there. However, Eternal inflation, when combined with string theory, suggests that our known world, with its physical constants and habitable conditions, may be very different from the hypothetical bubble universe next to our own, even if we were able to go there. The fine-tuning of the natural constants for the advent of life has been a puzzling phenomenon that this multiverse vision of the universe solves. The reason for this is that conscious observers can only be found in extremely special bubbles where by sheer luck, the conditions are optimal for the development of life. The remainder of the universe is still empty, but nobody seems to mind. Because of this, it's possible that there are other sentient observers in the unlimited number of bubble universes beyond our own. But with each passing second, we further separate ourselves from them, and our paths will never cross. On the other hand, quantum mechanics 
The mathematical description of subatomic particles is the foundation upon which some researchers construct their theories of parallel universes. In quantum mechanics, a wave function encompasses the many potential states that subatomic particles might be in at once. When we gaze, though, we only see one of these alternatives. When the wave function collapses into a single reality, an outcome occurs. However, Many world theories suggest that for every condition or outcome observed, there exists an alternative world in which a different quantum consequence is realized. In this setup, our perception of the universe branches off into a nearly unlimited number of possible futures with each passing instant. Countless copies of you may be leading lives that differ slightly or drastically from your own in parallel worlds, but you'd never know it because of the impossibility of travel between them. The many worlds theory is the bravest solution to the quantum mechanical conundrum. It's the least complicated theory, yet it still has some tricky parts. One such complication is that the many worlds interpretation cannot be definitively disproved. This is a crucial part of scientific reasoning, as it is the means by which scientists generate hypotheses that may be tested by experiments. In the meanwhile, there are physicists who subscribe to a simpler version of parallel universes. To put it another way, there is a finite number of possible configurations for matter's constituent parts as they combine in an endless cosmos. Any configuration of a finite number of particle kinds will inevitably repeat itself. A large enough volume would require configurations of those particles larger than individual stars, planets, and galaxies. Your entire existence may therefore be replicated somewhere in the cosmos, right down to what you had for breakfast the day before. That's the theory, at least. Astrophysicist Ethan Siegel argues that if the cosmos did indeed start from a single point, as almost all physicists believe it did, then it is highly unlikely that there is another version of you. According to Siegel, the number of possible outcomes from particles in any universe interacting with one another tends towards infinity faster than the number of possible universes increases due to inflation. So what does this mean for you? Siegel wrote, it means it's up to you to make this universe count. Researchers from the Perimeter Institute for Theoretical Physics in Waterloo, Ontario, have proposed that the universe began at the Big Bang, and that on the other side of the Big Bang timeline, stretching backward in time, a universe once existed that was the exact mirror image of our own. This theory is a relatively recent addition to the pantheon of multiverse theories. Who can say that? Perhaps there are other universes like ours. Eventually, researchers will find the solution to these mysteries, and the world can rest easy. Till then, let's know what you make of the idea of parallel universes in the comments section below.